Hey Sagittarius, if you're new here, welcome to Summertime Tarot. My name is Summer, and if you've been here before, I'm so happy and glad that you could find your way back. So this is a month ahead reading for the month of July. We're going to be taking a look at, you know, what's going on, any messages that want to come through, advice for you, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, these are general readings. So if this doesn't resonate, make sure you check out, you know, your moon, your rising sign, whatever other signs in your birth chart that you, you know, feel called to check out. Um, there is a link in the description box for a website you can go to to um, get a free birth chart if you don't have it already. Okay, let's see. So we have here self-reflection okay so with self-reflection here this may be you know an emotional month where you're taking a look at yourself um, your plans figuring out you know what's going on within you that could be you know causing you some strife some issues getting yourself together healing um, clearing out like you may be feeling a bit overwhelmed with your emotions at this current time or that may be you know something that you experience in the month of july um but so it's going to be important for you to really reflect on yourself and any changes that you may need to make in order to you know make progress and movement towards the things that you want right so this could be a month where you know you kind of find yourself looking over and trying to figure out you know what you need to release what's holding you back you could find yourself you know needing a hand needing the help from some someone close to you a close friend and really um expressing your feelings that kind of thing but let's see what else wants to come out for you So we have light codes, travel awaits. So you may be having a hard time like kind of connecting and kind of tapping into your in intuition in order to kind of figure out what it is that's going on with you or what needs to change, what needs to be released, right? So it's going to be important for you to really I feel, you know, like sit with yourself and to kind of digest your emotions so that you can um, see clearly what it is that may be, you know, affecting you negatively or what's kind of holding you back or kind of keeping you feeling a bit stuck or a bit overwhelmed, right? It's going to be important for you to do that in order to, you know, access, I feel, your intuition because otherwise, you know, I kind of feel like you may be moving out of a space of hurt or fear or regret um because with this here self-reflection and maybe you know some emotions some unprocessed things that may be still you know affecting you and affecting how you're moving and so in order to you know yeah because with this light codes it's almost giving me like a um 
like a robotic right i usually don't really see that card that way but it's giving me almost like ro robotic so you could be like going through the motions and not really aware of what's going on around you because you're so like um there's so much going on within you that's kind of taking up so much space so i kind of feel like july is going to be a time where you have to really um sit with yourself and process you know your emotions and what's going on within you in order for your awareness to really expand beyond those things that may be weighing you down i hope that makes sense but let's let's get your animal totem for the month So we have tiger, fire. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Yeah. You could be, because what kind of stood out to me was mighty forces come to my aid. So you could be feeling like alone. You could be feeling like um, you don't have anyone to kind of lean on or call on and so it's i feel you know it's really important for you to to know that you do have you know spirit guides the universe the divine god whomever you believe in pray to right there um and to kind of i feel almost kind of lay that burden down right and to not allow it to kind of make you feel um less than or feel like your power is not your own right or like things are out of your control um, yeah, it may be time for you to really, um, let go of some things and to release some things and to, to not kind of hold on to how you want things to be. Okay. Well, let's see what else. blessing for the month we have garden and the gate your challenge for the month we have walking away and your message for the month we have the world and your lesson for the month we have deceit so with the garden and the gate being here as your um blessing for the month i kind of get the feeling that you ooh, you're in a space right you i kind of feel like you like i was saying you aren't aware of all the things going on around you because you may be so focused on like what's in front of you or what's going on within you and so i kind of feel with the garden and the gate here being your blessing for the month i feel like your blessing is like 
you're going to realize what's outside of the gate, right? You're going to see what's outside of the gate. Um, and I kind of almost get the feeling it could be, you know, that you're in a space where you feel like everything is um, weighing on you or kind of keeping you stuck, keeping you where you are. And so I feel with the garden and the gate being here as your blessing for the month, it's like you coming into an awareness of your own power, right? Because if you look at the card here, she has a key, right? She has the key to the gate around her neck. And I kind of feel like this is this is you, right? And you may be feeling like stuck, feeling like you can't move beyond where you are, right? And maybe you do you know, have an awareness of what you want. You do see the things that you want, but I kind of feel like you're, you're at an impasse. Is that the right word? I don't know. But like you're at a, you're at a space. Yeah. Yeah. With the world here, you're at a space where it's like, you feel like, um, you want to move forward and you want all these things and you want this kind of new cycle, this, this newness in your life, but you kind of feel stuck and so this month I kind of feel like you are going to realize just you know your power your ability to kind of change your circumstances to to change where you are and to kind of move towards what it is you want right but with the challenge with the challenge here being walking away your challenge is going to actually be you know taking that key unlocking the gate and like walking out of the space that you're currently in right and this space could be one where you you just feel you know like you're not good enough right with the with the deceit here as your your lesson for the month you could be you know there could be something that you're deceiving yourself about or this could be a person in your life that isn't you know telling you the whole truth or what have you but i kind of feel like this is a mindset that you're currently in where you kind of feel like or you think that this is all that there will ever be or this is all that I can ever, you know, create for myself. This is all I can ever have. But that's a lie, right? And I kind of feel um, with the garden and the gate here, this is you kind of coming into an awareness of everything beyond the gate, all the things that you want for yourself um, and I kind of feel like that goes hand in hand with the reflection right and so I kind of feel with this self-reflection this is you know you being in a state this month where you are kind of reflecting on your current circumstances where you are what got you here and how you can change it and what you can do to kind of get to where it is that you want okay and so with the challenge here being walking away, it's going, I kind of feel, um, this has a lot to do with your own kind of maybe self defeat, self defeating habits or yeah. When I said that I saw 10, 10, so I guess so your own like self defeating habits or your own beliefs about yourself that kind of keep you stuck, that keep you stagnant. And so with your challenge being walking away, you know, it's going to be leaving those things behind and moving into this, you know, this new arena. Right. And so with your message for the month, we have the world here. So you are coming to an end of a cycle and you are moving into a new space. Right. We can see it right here with these two cards. Right. And so that can be that can be a challenging spot to be in where you're kind of leaving behind old things and moving towards new ones. Right. That's why the challenge is walking away away. Right. Because we can sometimes get stuck where we are out of fear that, you know, this new space that we're moving into isn't going to have all the things that we desire or all that kind of stuff right and so with deceit being here as your lesson it's kind of letting go of those things right with the world letting go of those things 
those ideas, those thoughts, those um, mentalities, those people that kind of keep you in this kind of lowlier state, keep you um, believing those things and keep you in this in-between space where you're not in this new world, but you're in the old one, but you're not really in this old world because you have an awareness that, hey, I don't want to be here, but you're not quite ready to leave. I hope that made sense. But like, you know, it's about kind of coming into your power, coming into an awareness that you have the ability to change where you are, right? And I kind of feel with this here light codes, I kind of feel like you have, like you know that, right? But there's different levels of knowing, right? Because you can know that two plus two makes four, but if you don't quite get it you don't quite deeply understand that right that that's what comes with reflection so I kind of feel like this month is going to be a time for you to really sit with yourself and to really become aware of just you know what you may be doing that's kind of keeping you stuck where you are and letting those things go, be it people, places, things, whatever it is, right? Taking your power back and claiming and claiming what it is that you want and actually walking towards it, moving towards it, you know, be it in your mind, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever, what have you, you know what I mean? But let's get some more details with the hero tarot So we have three of swords, the queen of wands, queen of pentacles. Was there another one? Yes. And seven of pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands. Yeah. So I kind of feel like, yeah, like I was saying, woo. Mm. There may be some things here with this three of swords that, you know, that you're still processing, right? Some, some emotional hurts, some wounds, some things that, you know, may have come to a close that you're still kind of, um, processing. Like, like I said, um, and it may be, you know, making you feel you know, like unworthy, like you, like you can't do it, like you can't have what it is that you want. Um, you could even be, you know, feeling a bit afraid about, you know, this next chapter that you're moving into. Um, but I just feel like it's really, it's really important for you this month of July to really just, I feel, you know, process your emotions and to give them the time and the space that they need you get what i'm saying because otherwise they're going to affect you and the things that you create you and your environment if that makes sense right um so just make sure that you're taking the time that you need to really you know sit with yourself and to sit with 
where you where you are currently and to really just be aware of your own of yourself and not be afraid to be sad or to just be where you are right because in doing so that kind of allows you to release that allows you to kind of let go of the things that aren't working for you anymore let go of the things that kind of are holding you back and keeping you stuck or keeping you from growing and improving and moving in the way that you want to you get me right so with the queen of pentacles here just make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that you're um tending to your own needs right especially with this three of swords any of these you know sad feelings that you may be experiencing and to to process them to allow them to wash over you and to release them and to kind of cut off any negative things or negative people negative habits that are kind of keeping you from moving forward that are keeping you stuck okay but let's see let's get an affirmation for you for the month And don't be afraid to, you know, ask for help from, you know, someone close to you or to just sit with them and to express your feelings or your angers or what have you to really just let them out, right? Because they're not doing you any good by kind of lingering around. So we have, I see every challenge as an opportunity to grow stronger. And your question to ponder, how have I shown resi resilience and strength lately? <laughs> how have I shown resilience and strength lately? How can I apply the lesson learned to future challenges? Okay. Right. Don't be hard on yourself, man. That's all I gotta say. Don't be hard on yourself. You got this. You're strong. You can get through it. You can you can work through this. It's about, you know, knowing yourself. And knowing your strength. Let's see what crystals would be beneficial for you at this time. So we have Preanite, Release Declutter, Heart Chakra. Obsidian Protection, Root Chakra. And Sarusite, Travel, Root and Crown Chakras. Okay. 
I just want to say lay your burdens down. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like with this um, obsidian, it's like a time for you to, you know, really get grounded and to kind of, I feel, you know, feel your feelings, let them go, release them and to, to open up to all this kind of new and good stuff that's trying to come towards you. Okay. And so let's get, let's get some advice for you. The advice here for Sagittarius. Be gentle with yourself. Take your foot off the gas and don't push yourself so hard. If you need to rest, then take a break. The world won't fall apart if you nap. Renew, dear one. You are a treasure. Be gentle with yourself. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come out for you. Ask for help. Are you constantly giving to others yet rarely receiving what you need? Then it's time to ask for help. You're not superwoman, so there's no need to do it all yourself. You have an army of angels on speed dial. Give them a call, communicate your needs, and learn to receive, dear one. When we're open to the help that's all around us, the universe provides assistance. Make sure to look for the signs. Once you ask for help, there's, they'll start appearing. Okay. Anything else for Sagittarius? All right, so we have listen to your body. No matter how bad we feel, our bodies are always working on our behalf to create health and vitality. Meet your body halfway by acting on the messages it sends you, whether it's a whisper or a roar. Don't ignore what you hear. Listen to your body. It wants the best for you. All right. Let's see if there's anything else. Don't come out. Sagittarius. And final one, we have say you're sorry. Are you carrying around regret? Is there a relationship that needs healing, but you just don't know what to say? Give your pride a rest and simply start with I'm sorry. Take responsibility and acknowledge your role in the situation. Apologize for them and for you. Then let it go and be very proud of yourself. Making amends isn't easy, but it's a huge leap forward on your spiritual path. Bravo. All right. And so let's get some, see what self-care activities would be beneficial for you for this month. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. We'll take those, those ones. I will just... Fine. We'll take them all. We'll take them all. So we have learn. So spend some time um, learning something that you, you've been, like, wanting to learn, you know? Maybe it could be, you know, tarot or maybe about crystals, herbs what have you just you know spend some time this month kind of focusing on that and improving you know your knowledge all right then we have travel so spend some time you know outdoors going in different routes going towards things places that you've never been sightseeing what have you all right then we have nature so spend some time outdoors connecting with the birds and the trees and the bees okay and then we have listen so listen to some music but don't play channel orange or blonde on repeat okay <laughs> don't be listening to that sad music back to back all right P play some tunes that make you you feel good that uplift your spirits okay 
if you do need to listen to the sad stuff, you know, just just listen to it for a little bit. But but don't be playing it back to back to back to back. All right. Then we have bath. Okay, spend some time in some water, getting, you know, clean spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, all that good stuff. Okay, maybe have a spiritual bath. The new moon is no. Not the new moon. The full moon is coming up. That could be a good time for a spiritual bath, okay? Um, there's videos on the YouTube for spiritual baths. But I don't know. If you'd like me to make one, put that down in the comments, all right? Then we have create. So, you know, spend some time crafting something. A candle. Um anything that you like you know maybe a birdhouse I don't know then we have hair yeah so doing your hair is it well not always I was gonna say it's good to do when you're not feeling good but sometimes you know hair when you upset mm, you might want to rip it out but <laughs> you know uh, maybe you know washing your hair cleansing it that's good like if you feel if you feel a little bit low it could be time for you to wash your hair really really good um, and to kind of get that up out your system okay uh, maybe try a new hairstyle and look at yourself and be like "Ooh, you look good all right and then we have our final one is cafe so you know travel to your local cafe get you some coffee maybe sit in a window seat watch people go by maybe strike up conversation with somebody if you feel like it if not mind your business okay <laughs> um but let's let's close this out with um postcard for spirit from spirit so let's see what's the final message here for sagittarius a lot but fine so you got three i'm gonna read it i'm gonna read them all because they all came out so we have dearest you there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things happens to everyone something feels familiar but sort of off if you're feeling confused it's best to throw away that map you're using which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences that isn't what you need right now Instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means there means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that's shown up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights allow your eyes to adjust carry on special one a beautiful life awaits loving you so so much and a rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds yet flexible seaweed survives powerful ocean swells right now we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life challenges surrender your fixed ideas surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver to you what you need in the appropriate form in this moment rather than fighting or being too sure of your way working out be a little looser and allow for another outcome compromise can be the best way forward if you are to learn new ways of doing and seeing stay aware curious and teachable take life on life's terms your purpose may push you in a direction not on your map let it be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will still be rooted in the world, in abundance, and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. Okay, and then your final one. Dearest you, everything is in divine order, even in chaos, there's order. 
and we are always in awe of this. For you though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter. Whether it be too many stories in your mind, too many what ifs, or fearful thoughts of the past or future, instead focus on the now. Enjoy your mi- wait. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have. Sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit free of distractions. You are so adored by so many. We hope you really know that. All right. But that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope this reading helps you in some way. Please let me know down in the comments how it resonated. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate you and hope to see you soon. Peace out.